I am not perfect. Please do your own research. Hey, welcome, we will take close look at central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. In recent years, cryptocurrencies and stablecoins have grown in popularity and central banks around the world have realized that they must provide an alternative to physical money or risk missing out on the future of money. In this video, we will explore what CBDCs are, how they work and their potential benefits and risks. What is a CBDC? A central bank digital currency or CBDC, is a virtual currency backed and issued by a central bank. It is a digital form of central bank money that is widely available to the general public. CBDCs are similar to cryptocurrencies, except their value is fixed by the central bank and equivalent to the country's fiat currency. They are not cryptocurrencies as they are controlled by a central bank, whereas cryptocurrencies are almost always decentralized, meaning they cannot be regulated by a single entity. How do CBDCs work? CBDCs are a new form of money that exists only in digital form. They are a digital liability of a central bank that is widely available to the general public. CBDCs are supposed to be used as a substitute for fiat currencies. The idea is to provide consumers with the ease and security of digital as well as the traditional banking systems regulated. CBDCs can be implemented in various ways, such as an account-based model, where citizens have accounts directly with the central bank or a token-based model, where digital tokens are issued and transferred between parties. Potential Benefits of CBDCs 1. More efficient transaction. CBDCs can reduce transaction costs of businesses and individuals by allowing direct transactions between two parties, without intermediaries and fees. 2. Increase security of digital payments. CBDCs should make it easier to track transactions, which could help to combat money laundering and other fraudulent activities. 3. Financial inclusion. CBDCs could provide in banked individuals access to the payment system. For safest digital asset, as a liability of the central bank, a CBDC would be the safest digital asset available to the general public, with no associated credit or liquidity risk. For enhancing payment efficiency, CBDCs can provide a secure and reliable means of digital payment and remittance. 5. Lower cost associated with cash handling, storage and transportation. 6. Potential to reduce the risk of fraud, counterfeiting and cyber attacks. Potential risk of CBDCs. 1. Poor design and implementation carries risk to data security, financial intermediation, financial integrity and currency substitution. 2. CBDCs could undermine both the foundation and future of financial markets by reducing credit availability, disintermediating banks and introducing transitional and substitution adjustment and related risks as banks are forced to look for other forms of funding. 3. CBDCs could shift risk rather than eliminate them, as banks would need to shift to other sources to shift to other sources to meet their traditional funding requirements and these new sources would continue to carry both credit and liquidity risks. 4. CBDCs could pose risk to economic growth. CBDCs are digital currencies issued by central banks that have the potential to offer several benefits, such as more efficient transactions, increased security of digital payments and financial inclusion. However, they also carry risks, such as poor design and implementation, which could carry risk to data security, financial intermediation, financial integrity and currency substitution. CBDCs are being piloted in various countries and a wide variety of approaches are being tested. It remains to be seen how CBDCs will affect the global financial ecosystem, but they are certainly an innovation worth watching. Thank you for watching. Please, like, share, comment and subscribe for more videos. We learn together.